Hi. Welcome to Just the Dis. We talk about Blu-rays here. Uh, I have a few more horror recommendations, if anyone's interested. Um, some of these are old favorites. A few are new discoveries. I'm going to start with a new discovery. This one is called Night Visitor. I got this through Ronin Flicks. And um, tip of the hat to Dawn of the Discs uh, on Instagram, one of my favorite, probably my favorite Instagram account, really. Uh, he, if you don't follow him, I don't know why you don't. Uh, he is always keeping me up to date with what's coming out, especially in genre circles, but really in all Blu-ray circles. And this is one that I had not bought initially uh, from Ronin Flicks, and I saw him review it there on Instagram, and the description intrigued me. And I bought it, and I enjoyed it, and I talked about it on Pure Cinema. It's basically like a uh, Fright Night kind of scenario, except instead of vampires, the, the sort of high school kid is dealing with uh, Satan worshippers. And one of the Satan worshippers is played by uh, Alan Garfield, and he's also like his history teacher. So that makes for a really awkward classroom experience later uh, after he sees his history teacher or whoever um, kill someone with a like giant sacrificial dagger. And uh, it gets complicated after that. Uh, he is joined, Alan Garfield that is, by like, I don't know if it's like a brother or just a friend uh, played by the great uh, Michael J. Pollard. You can see them. Right there. And, uh, and they, they're doing some weird stuff over at their house uh, that definitely needs to get called out. I'm just trying to see if this has... Um, oh, yeah. There's the alternate artwork. You can get a sense of the uh, creepy Alan Garfield. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It's, it's very 80s in its own way. And uh, I like that. It was exactly what I was in the mood for. It also has Elliot Gould in it. Elliot Gould shows up in the third act as somebody that's helping the kid deal with the Satanists. And, um, but yeah, it's very much a Fright Night type plot. You know, If you watch it, you'll go, oh, this is like Fright Night. And not in a way that's distracting or stupid. I just was like, oh, that's kind of like this. But I like this a lot. And if you like Fright Night like I do, I don't mind a knockoff here and there. So... Night Visitor is my first recommendation. Let's see, what do we have next here? The Sentinel. Director Michael Winner. He of many Charles Bronson films, of some Death Wish movies, and generally action films, but also did some really cool stuff in the 60s uh, with Oliver Reed, by the way. I should talk about that on the show at some point. Um, but this one is sort of a... I don't know, I want to say a classic, but it might still be a little underrated, ultimately. Um, kind of a woman rents an apartment uh, in this building that has, like, a doorway to hell in it. And it also has uh, a very adorable uh, Burgess Meredith and his cat. And they threw a birthday party for the cat. And that's very funny. Um, but it's just, you know, the right amount of... Um... Oh, and speaking of Fright Night... It has uh, Chris Sarandon in it, uh, as well as Christina Raines, Martin Balsam, John Carradine, Jose Ferrer, Ava Gardner, Arthur Kennedy, Sylvia Miles, Deborah Raffin. Oh, I like Deborah Raffin a lot. She's in Death Wish 3. Um, Eli Wallach. Uh, so this cast is pretty nuts. Uh, but it says it's based on Jeffrey Convitz's best-selling novel, um, and it has some uh, makeup effects by Dick Smith. And he's no slouch. Um, but yeah, just sort of eccentric neighbors, gateway to hell, you know, weird dead people wandering the hallways at one point. There's a really good scene with that. Uh, but definitely one I won't go too deep into. I don't think you need to know much more than apartment with gateway to hell. I think that's a good sales pitch for this one. And Michael Winner directing a horror movie. Um, it's as fun as it sounds in that way. So good one. And, and referenced, um, I remember always it's referenced by... Corey Feldman in The Burbs. He's like, do you ever see The Sentinel? It's about this apartment. The gate That's a gateway to hell. And he's talking kind of in relation to the Clopex or something. But I always thought it was funny that 
a movie that I like, The Sentinel, is referenced in another movie that I love, The Burbs. Um, anyway, definitely recommended. Scream Factory. Next up, Soul Survivor. Um, this one is a Elbert Kane special. I've only ever heard of this movie because of him. And uh, so I was really psyched when this Blu-ray came out from Code Red. And um, it's kind of like a fest Final Destination-y kind of thing. Like, it's from the director of Night of the Comet, Tom Eberhardt. And uh, it precedes that film. So it's kind of fun to watch this and then watch Night of the Comet, in my mind. Um, it's about this woman who, she is the sole survivor of an airplane crash and she's trying to move on with her life, but you know, death and the grim reaper send their minions, if you will. Uh, so it's, you know, like you've seen a final destination movie. It's a little more, uh, low key than that, but it definitely has some fun, creepy moments in it. And, uh, I think this Blu-ray might've gotten to be a little harder to find, but it may be available streaming somewhere. I'm not sure. But definitely a little gem. You know, definitely a fun uh, horror movie for the season, I think. Um, it's got some nice features if you do happen to pick up the Blu-ray. Soul Survivor. Got one from Arrow here. Scared Stiff. Um, this one is, I want to say, from the late 80s somewhere. 86. Huh, maybe mid um, this one was pretty cool. Uh, I think I saw this because my friend Michael Ferrari, who does um, Cine du Cinema du Meep and uh, Retro Movie Love and The Last American Video Store, he has a lot of cool projects he's working on. I saw him pick this one up, and he definitely has put me onto a few 80s horror gems, you know, video store gems that I had missed. And this one, had I'd never even really heard of it. Um, it's, it's about a woman who, um, uh, well, it's a couple. They're terrorized by an age old curse. Uh, it says, um, the singer woman moves into basically an old colonial mansion with her son and her psychologist boyfriend pa played by Andrew Stevens of 10 to midnight fame and the fury. Um, and they make like a gross discovery in the attic, which I won't talk about. And it soon, be soon becomes clear that the mansion has like a dark bloodstained past and that uh, it's about to terrorize them, basically. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. It's kind of bonkers in terms of the weirdness. Like there's a little bit of like poltergeisty stuff happening and possession stuff happening and the acting is okay, but just the right amount of um, goofy, maybe, in parts where I liked it, if that makes sense. I don't know. It was, and then it's unsettling, too, because it says, um, I feel like somebody, there's some, I, I can't remember, oh, it says, uh, well, it just says, builds to an astonishing practical effects laden climax. And I can't remember who did the effects, but they're pretty good. And uh, it's just one of those things, like, if you like, 80s horror just the vibe of the 80s in general you know this is you know s sort of steeped in that and uh I don't know I had a good time with it it was a little gem for me one of my discoveries a few years ago when this came out but uh, I've been trying to recommend it since then scared stiff okay this is really recommendation from uh both Elric Kane and my friend Steven Scarlatta uh I'd seen this before I met either of them, but my love for the film has grown exponentially since knowing them both, as they both absolutely adore this movie, uh, a.k.a. Teddy, I think. Um, and uh, where is the back? It's basically the story of this kid who's kind of creepy and has a best friend that's a teddy bear that he talks to and that talks to him and that leads him to a pit filled with little monsters and you know he's a, he's an odd kid like he's kind of a he's kind of a perv with his babysitter and he kind of doesn't fit in well with the other kids and when he gets to a certain point that they're being mean to him 
maybe he'll lead him to the pit and push him in and the monsters will get him. And it's much weirder than that even that premise even sounds. Uh, but it is definitely memorable. It's a very unique little film, <laughs> very Canadian in its way. Um, the lead kid is Sammy Snyder's and he is, it's a, it's a career performance. You know, it's just one of those, like, I haven't seen one like that in a long time and in a good and bad way. Like, like it's, it's really mesmerizing this performance, but, um, yeah, it's, a it's a beauty. And if you haven't seen the pit, it is a blast. And, uh, and this disc has a commentary by Paul Korup of conexploitation.com and film historian Jason Pachonsky, which was really good. I really dug that track. And uh, it has interviews with the star, Sammy Snyder's interview with the screenwriter, interview with the other star, Jeannie Elias, interview with the composer. I mean, this is a full-on special edition of The Pit from Kino. So hats off for that. Good stuff. And lastly, a little film from Jeff Lieberman uh, called Remote Control, autographed by the man himself. I purchased this from his website. I think it's jeffliebermandirector.com. I'll leave a link in the notes. You can still get this from him. And, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> Earth 1987, the height of the home video revolution. The alien invasion begins as an extraterrestrial signal implanted into thousands of videotapes. Uh, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I love these, this uh, description here. Um, yeah, it's basically like an invasion, invasion of the body snatchers, 80s style with, you know, uh, the great uh, Kevin Dillon working at a video store and there is this tape circulating that somebody puts it on and bad things happen and they get sort of body snatching kind of thing going. It's, it's, you know, alien takeover kind of movie, but I just love the, uh, well, I love Kevin Dillon. I think he's a blast. Uh, the blob, one of the great eighties horror movies ever, but this one I feel like was out of circulation for a long time. And this is, I mean, you got to go and hunt for this Blu-ray. This is not on Amazon as, as far as I know. Um, so, it's definitely one I used to see in the video store and it has some great scenes in the video store in it. So if you're nostalgic for video store scenes, I think, uh, this is a good time for you. And, um, Kevin, Kevin Dillon as a video store employee, I, I guess I've always related to those characters. I was a video in store employee myself, uh, for almost a decade. And so it's a very comforting thing to go back to the video store in a movie and see, people's like rewinding tapes and stocking tapes and I don't know then you have an invasion of the body snatchers plot wrapped around it and it's pretty fun I mean Jeff Lieberman is no slouch as a director um I like this one and uh as I said overlooked because of a lack of availability I think so definitely go and uh check out his website he may actually have some other stuff there too for sale I can't remember but um this Blu-ray was definitely worth it for me. It has, does it have a commentary? Yeah, it has a commentary from him. And uh, he only, looks like he only ran off a thousand copies. And so I know that there, at the time of this recording, there were still some left. So I do recommend you pick it up before he runs through that thousand. I don't know if he'll re-up when he's done or not, but this is a little gem. Very enjoyable stuff. So that's um, some more horror recommendations show you my stack again night visitor sentinel soul survivor scared stiff the pit and remote control maybe something in there for you to enjoy i hope so uh have a lovely horror viewing season and i will talk to you soon bye